It's like no other. Gin is very polarizing. People either love it or hate it. I stand in liquor stores going, would you like to try some gin? And you only see think you were offering people smallpox. <laughs> you know, start backing away and, uh, and it's everybody's had what we would call a gincident. And that gincident <laughs> normally involved Gordons. Uh, and so people are polarized. There's either people who are out there who love that Christmas tree uh, traditional gin, but gin has moved on and that's part of the narrative tonight. We're going to introduce you really to the category of gin, the story of gin. Gin almost shouldn't exist. It's come back from the dead more times than Dracula. It really should not be around because it has been the reflection of social attitudes, governmental attitudes, mother's ruin, that whole thing. The way that today we have debates about marijuana, people 200 years ago talked about gin in exactly the same manner. Should it even exist? Should the people, the people, the little people, should they have access to, to such an intoxicating liquor. So we're going to do that, and we're going to make some cocktails. We're going to make a, a very traditional French 75. When I say we, this is not the royal we. You are all going to do it. That's why we have all these shakers here and the mixers. Is Every one of you is going to make your own French 75, and we're going to do a take on a cosmopolitan. So Cosmopolitan is a vodka based drink traditionally from the 1980s, however uh, you use flavoured vodka when you use that, when you can use a beautiful tasty uh, flavoursome gin instead, as we call it a brosmo. Uh, vodka is not a flavoured gin and we'll get into the reasons behind that as well. So that's how we're going to play this, it's really awesome juice, it tastes like no other and you can drink it straight. There's not many gins that you can say that you drink straight. So that's exactly what you're about to do.